Good morning. You are wonky. That's not your fault. It's okay. We're all a bit wonky. Um, sorry. I have just like cleansed, toned, and moisturized the weekend away and put like a load of stuff in my hair, you know, spray, conditioner, things because, because. Uh, had a fun weekend, went to see Professor Brian Cox live on stage on Saturday and didn't really understand much of it. Um, and that definitely had nothing to do with any intoxicating substances that might have been consumed beforehand. Oh, certainly not. But that was a good fun night. And yesterday I basically stayed in bed, had a chicken dinner, not in bed, weird, um, and watched some murder stuff because, you know. Mm -mm -mm. Don't forget your favourite drugs, kids. Um, what else? That's about it for the weekend, I think. Um, yeah, that's it. It's an exciting week, sort of. It is an exciting week because on Wednesday, um, my sister has taken me to feed some lions. <laughs> and I get to take one home because you... You get to stroke all of the lions and get to see which one is your favourite or which one likes you. They're all going to like me. This is a problem. And I go, oh, you're so cute. Oh, rub it down. And then you get to bring one home and see if you want to, you know, adopt the lion. That would be lovely. But also, I am this morning making a phone call um, about potentially adopting a cat. Um... And my sister's like, it's too soon for you to adopt another one. And I'm like, no, put a plaster over the wound, man. And, you know, and she also, she did exactly the same. When our cat Sid died, we went and went, we were like, dude, we went on a holiday. Like the next week, by the time we came back, we had another cat. That was her. And Sophie was lovely. I wouldn't call her Sophie, but there you are. I want to call this one Violet Beauregard. But anyway, so I've got to do that at 10 o'clock. It's 25 to now. So I've just about got time to uh, get this morning's orders together. I think 25, 24, I've got to fetch. And uh, so yeah, this morning we'll be doing post. I've got a delivery of some perfume. I want to order some hair stuff. Um, I might have a delivery of jewelry, quite possibly. And i go for a swim, ruin my hair even more. Yeah, it's an exciting day today. Whoop. Anyways, back in a bit. I'm back. Ooh. Okay, let's do what's going out. My mouth didn't work very well then, did it? Anyways. Um, this is a nomination. Nomination Italy jewellery roll. So it's just a bit of faux leather wrap for your jewellery. I think I bought that for 50p and I sold that for a tenner. Um, long lariat style necklace, lariat um, in gunmetal grey that went for 5 99 A Turnbull and Asher um, silk bow tie that went for £27 going over to America that one I think. A sterling silver sparkly row um, of cubic zirconia that went for 9.99 a vintage gold metallic dress 1960s that's one of um steve's grand's ones that went for 49.99 so you'd be pleased about that one these gold for me rope loop earrings so gold for me is gold over silver they went for $16.99. This burnt orange plastic cuff bangle, £6. This retro designer style bag. It's basically like, um, I think it's a piss take of an Hermes bag. I think, maybe, possibly. I might have made that up. That went for £19.75. 
the sterling silver filigree oval pendant, uh, 11.99. Sterling silver semi-precious stone bracelet, 12 pounds. Byzantine chain with a senorita clasp, 14.99. This Scottish agate beaded necklace went for 11.99. Plus they also had this one for 5.99, but they're not paid for that one yet, so I'm not sending that just yet. And a sterling silver ball ring, that's very much, um, there's like a Tiffany ring that's very similar to that. That went for £8.29. A pilgrim, just sparkly dangle necklace, £10.99. This huge chunky beaded collar length necklace, or just longer than collar length, I think, £11.99. A sterling silver rope twist ring, £6.99. This Prada candy brooch, £10.00. I've got another one of them so I can uh, relist that one. There's Angie Gooderum, can't really see, but it's like a crackle glaze egg shaped pendant, £15. A bunch of bird brooches, birdie brooches, £15 for that lot. I think there's 10 in there, eight. This little enamel, um, what did I say, like a, an orchid, except it's not an orchid, is it? more like a lotus flower that's what I meant anyways that went for five uh, and Elisabetta Volpe bangle 10 pounds sale of the weekend is this one this is a Miriam Haskell a signed Miriam Haskell it's signed on the back there beaded butterfly bracelet that went for 100 pounds that's quite nice considering I probably spent about 400 pounds over the weekend God, what do I do with my life? This Kenny Ma, um, it's sort of like, this is actually really pretty. Um, like almost Regency style, which way around it is that way around. Like necklace, San Francisco Mega, made with Swarovski crystals. Uh, went, that went for 33.59. This Biko, Red crystal pendant on a bike style chain, £11.51. And this vintage 70s modernist brooch with a tiger's eye centre that went for £7.99. So I'm going to package this up. I have done some of my other chores as well whilst doing this. So I paid off my credit card because I'd been putting a lot on it. And then they emailed me this morning saying like, um, that is having to be closed because it's an Amazon credit card and New Day, who hosts their credit card, will be writing to me going like, we would like to close your account, which basically means probably that I've got to pay it all off and not use it again. So I've just done that in preparation. I have ordered some shampoo. Um, I've replied to an email. I've canceled a subscription and I phoned about the cat and I filled out the application form. So, Hopefully, we'll be able to meet. Um, I've got to do, so my job's left to do, package these, do 10 listings, order some stuff from Liberty, because I'm tempted to use my credit, and I've got my delivery of jewellery down there to go through as well, which I might film. We shall see. I know I keep tempting you with, like, things or not. Anyways, first thing, package up all of this stuff. Parcels then, that's my delivery of jewellery, that's more parcels. And then these are what I'm going to list this afternoon. I'm only going to do 10 listings today, so I'm going to do some silver bracelets. So we've got this pretty little heart one, this cute little starfish, it's got sparkles in it as well. Probably um, cubic zirconium. We've got some nice pearly ones. And then a nice toggle clasp one, this vintage one, like all kind of four pointed star, but sort of like a leaf or an X. Nice Byzantine chain one, this bangle, which has like some nice dichroic glass in, this teardrop link one, and then this sort of Macintosh almost design. So yeah, that's what I'm going to list. And then I found these in my, in my hoards as well, this one, like how pretty is that? this lovely wave shape but um my friend Nia is um 
handing in her dissertation soon and um, I might save that for her as a little present for handing it in. Yay. Okay, it's top for some lunch now. I'm going to make myself a pizza using a load of pizza base which I'll just lightly fry off on both sides and then add my toppings which are going to be some peppers, some cherry tomatoes and obviously some mozzarella. So I'll show you when that's done. That's one finished pizza, 180 calories and I think it's 7.4 grams of carbs. Well I've just tried to do my post um, and next door is saying that they're um, whatever scanny thing is for the parcels is system is down at the moment um, but it's just them so I could find like another god I'm so shiny um, place to take it to but hmm, effort and I couldn't do my Royal Mail post because the post box is full so I might need to track somewhere this afternoon but first of all I think I'm gonna do a little unboxing video of like one of the um, boxes of stuff that I got today so yay. So I've had fun doing my um, unboxings this afternoon. So you may have seen the first bit and then I'm just about to edit and stuff the second bit and start uploading. Um, I'll probably have that for tomorrow morning. Um, <sighs> with the parcels, there is no other parcel shop near for me to send. Um, collect plus ones through so I've had to cancel all those labels and then reprint them as Hermes ones so that's great oh well at least it's soft now I have got a um, um, a little parcel that I said about earlier it's from Boots and it is a perfume that I fancy trying it's a Kayali Kayali I think it's by Huda Huda and this is Love Fest Burning Cherry number 48 so this apparently has got burning cherry, raspberry, praline, palo santo, um, guaiac wood, g-u-a-i-a-c wood, and chili. Now I'm pretty sure I love all of those things, so I'm hoping that I'm going to love this. Oh, it's a right fancy little bottle, look at that. So this was 60 something pounds for... 50 mils, that looks quite nice. I haven't got anything on right now, but I can already like tell that I kind of love it. Um, oh my God, that is beautiful. I love the smell of cherries, like anyway. That's absolutely stunning. It like smells really dark. Sexy nighttime perfume. Oh, that's delicious. Possibly a new favorite perfume. That and Chanel Mademoiselle. Do you like chances are? And Angel. Mm. Yeah, that's lovely. So there you go, have a sniff. Nice, huh? What's that? There you go. Good sniff. Okay. Right, this is dinner for tonight. I've got some tasty, tasty chicken, some broccoli, boiled white cabbage, and braised kale. Braised? Is that the right word? I don't know. Done in a pan with some garlic anyway. An annoying brew. Ha. Hello. Video done and uploaded and scheduled for tomorrow morning. I see it. I needed to go out for some exercise, so I'm going to go for a swim, which probably isn't the cleverest of ideas, like after eating, but fuck it, it's happening. <sighs> I just hope I got the pool to myself. I don't want to share today. I got home and uh, waiting for me is a lovely bunch of kale and a random tomato from my mate Nia who's um, got a bit of an allotment and it is the best freaking kale as well, so good. And now just having myself a bit of a snack, that's some jelly, sugar-free jelly with uh, raspberry, strawberries and blueberries 
A nice big dollop of Faya yogurt with some caramel syrup on top. Lush. So, I've just been chilling in my room and stuff, and I forgot that I got sent some lovely friend mail. Well, I'm presuming it's lovely friend mail. It looks like friend mail, and I did just kind of go <gasps> like that. So there was a little card and then closed it back down again. Um, because it's from one of you guys, and thank you very much. Mm. It's so cool. Such lovely packing. So there's, there's a card, and then there's a lovely long letter. Oh. Oh bless. Okay. <laughs> I'd probably open that bit. Oh, there's all little look with like little <laughs> What on earth is this? This is crazy. I think that goes on there. Right. First of all, uh Oh my god, it just looks like there's a lot of things. Right. First of all, card. You always do the card first, don't you? There's just a lot of things just distracting me now. <laughs> right. First of all, you do the card. Losing a pet is never easy. Really not. Oh, it's from Sylvia Fauna. Hello. Thank you so much. So sorry you had to say goodbye. Oh. It is horrible. I'm not going to cry. I've cried a lot. A lot, a lot. It's a lovely bag. Oh, and some silica gel. Do not eat. Right. So, it's this big thing. Hi, Lex. I simply had to make one of these for you on the loss of your beloved Azumi. I call them memorial books. Find and close several options to customise it for Azumi. On the spine of the book is a ring. I've enclosed a wing charm which can be hung from this ring. The wing charm has a removable top so you can fill the vial with anything, e.g. fur, ashes. I had uh, ashes back the other day. If you fill the vial, you need to glue it on top so it doesn't fall off. The pink square had corners on. You can stick a photo to the book if you wish, thinking of you. That are so lovely. So thoughtful. Right. Oh my God. Oh, that is beautiful. Look at that. <laughs> That's so cool. Look at that. The kitty print with wings. Covered in azumis. And she Special ribbon. That's so cool. So I'm really ugly crying. Oh, that is so lovely. Uh, and yeah, there's extra bits in here. So she says. These have double-sided tape to peel off and attach to um, the, so I can picture picture corners. So basically I can put a picture of Azumi on the front there. And then there's like a little spare ribbon. We're getting, um, we're gonna get a rose to put it like in a pot in the garden. Maybe I can, I don't know, put something with that. <laughs> uh, open. There's such cute wrapping paper with the kitties. Oh. <laughs> oh no, that's where the ribbon was from. Uh, silly. And then this fragile open wing charm. Oh, this is so lovely. into it now. Uh, 
going to take pride of place on my bookshelf. Oh, look at that. Okay, that's cool. So, there's a little vial. So I could put some of Az Azami's ashes in there. I'm going to have some hopefully tattooed into me as well. And, and the rest will go in there and then what's that? Oh, does that go? Oh, I can glue them back on. So it goes like that. I got you. I think they were probably glued on with the chemo, but that's easy enough to glue back on. So like so. That's cool. <laughs> Bloody love it. Thank you. <laughs> I'm so thoughtful. Thank you so much. Oh, bloody hell. One more look. How cool is that? Thank you so much, Sylvia. I'm going to, um, yes, message you and um, say thank you. It's really, really lovely. Thank you so much. I've just about recovered from that. <laughs> um, was not expecting that at all, but absolutely beautiful. It's um, there on my bedside table right now. Um, I need to wash my hair properly, don't I? So, but anyways, anyways, anyways. I'm going to have a bag of these before going to bed, or rather before lounging in bed, probably watching the rest of the Stuart Lee thing that was on last night that I fell asleep during. So that's my plan for right now. Um, tomorrow morning, you will see part two of that unboxing. Tomorrow is a listing day for me, so I will be doing work and probably not vlogging. I doubt it. Um, but you'll probably see me Wednesday for when I go stroke some lions. So yeah, bye-bye now. Bye-bye.